there's nothing like eating Cape Cod chips in Cape Cod in front of the lighthouse. That's on the bag. Ah, that's a video. So we're here in Cape Cod and actually we saw this plant in Martha's Vineyard as well. These little tomato, pomegranate looking things which we thought was the fruit. Just learned today they're called sea spray rose and that's actually the hip of the flower. And interestingly, you can eat those things and they're very high in vitamin C. It's not bad, just like guava. So we're here in Cape Cod National Seashore and the first point is Race Point Beach and this is supposed to be like little beach that you can walk around on. It's got a lot of sand dunes. Go check it out. Thrilled to see this sign. She loves sharks, right? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't get in. swim? No, I don't get in water no with sharks. No. How about knee deep? I changed majors because of sharks. <laughs> Radhika is dying to see a great white shark. No, Radhika is not dying to see a great white. Only a tooth, preferably detached from the great white. <laughs> We're going to talk her into it. She's going to get out in the water before it's over. Put your feet in the water where the great white sharks are? Only toes. <laughs> no, come on, you gotta go a little bit. Go anywhere if you'll be by my side, it's all right. We'll leave everything behind. And I'll say, follow me to the unknown. We'll take the backwards, we don't know. Let's get lost on tank of gas, don't need a map. Drive too fast, your mind will start. You're my home, doesn't matter where we go. Follow me to the unknown, follow me to the unknown. So there's a rock with an X on it. It's a pirate treasure marker. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, that perfect rock. <laughs> it is. Perfect X. X. That's building a cairn. Building a cairn. That's a. Uh, Got washed out like three times already. It's gonna get knocked over again. Lose control <laughs> when I make you laugh. And I'll go anywhere cause you're right by my side. It's alright. Cause we left everything behind. Just you and I. Follow me to the unknown. We'll take the backwards we don't know. Let's get lost one take of gas. Don't need Drive too fast, your mind will start. You're my home, doesn't matter where we go. Follow me to the unknown, follow me to the unknown. Follow me to the unknown. Follow me to the unknown. There's no other place you know I'd rather be. You're zipped up in my sweater, laying next to me. Catching shooting stars There's no other place you know I'd rather be You're zipped up in my sweater Laying next to me Dropped up on the boardwalk On the hood of my car Parked out by the beach We're catching shooting stars Follow me to the unknown We'll take the backwards We don't know Let's get lost One we'll tank of gas Don't need a map Drive too fast Your mind will start You're my home Doesn't matter
somewhere in Provincetown, Cape Cod, and this place has got a lot of restaurants, but we heard that Lobster Pot was a really good place to check out by one of the park rangers, so that's where we're going. Also know that there's not a lot of parking in the town, but there is paid public parking available. The Cape Cod Seashore, the National Seashore Visitor Center right outside uh, Provincetown, there's actually a place where you can get on the bus for like a dollar and take it downtown if you don't want to worry about parking your car. If you come to Lobster Pot, you have to try these lobster egg rolls. My God, they are delicious. Guess where we're at? Where are we at? Cape Cod. <laughs> I didn't know this, but the Pilgrims actually landed in Cape Cod first before landing in Plymouth. Provincetown is definitely a very touristy area. It's a coastal town. It's got a ton of shops, a lot of restaurants, got a lot of things that tourists would enjoy, but it's actually got a really chill vibe. Kind of reminds me of Key West. So it has cool beaches, a bunch of odd galleries. The art scene is really good. I mean, we are, we're really enjoying this town. So this is the Pilgrim Memorial Monument, and you can see the big tower way up there. And the museum, I believe, is up there, but it's actually closed today. What do you think of this artwork, Mark? This doll hits your creek. Not gonna lie. All right, so Provincetown was a really cool little place. We're so glad we stopped by. They had some really good food at that restaurant. That was it was good. Great. They made everything out of lobster, grilled cheese, Reuben. Yeah, whoever egg came roll. up. Yeah, whoever came up with a lobster Reuben, genius. But anyway, we're gonna go find another cool beach and hopefully somewhere to fly this drone. Radhika has found a private island. <laughs> Any shark's teeth? No. Nah. This girl has been looking for shark's teeth all day. Yeah, I didn't find any. We're gonna have to catch a great white and we're gonna have to pull one of his teeth maybe. Or just buy it at the store. <gasps> you hear Mark? Oh my goodness! Oh my, Mark's been right there in front of us. This is awesome. So Mark is panting and and you know why? <laughs> because Mark was trying to run down the beach, trying to chase seals just to take a picture of them. So they were in the water. It's not like I was chasing them down the beach, but those things move really quick. And when they come up, they're only up for a second. So I was like trying to sprint down the beach to catch up to them so I could get a quick picture before they go back under the water. This is why great white yeah. sharks are here. So we have seen seals before, but we have not seen seals this close to us. And it was pretty cool. They'll stick their head out and look at you and just like keep going along the shore. Set Lighthouse, which is the lighthouse that is on this bag of chips. Probably one of the most iconic Cape Cod lighthouses, right there. Are you happy we finally got to see the lighthouse? Oh yeah, this is highlight of my trip, Cape Cod trip. <laughs>